This is the Apple fine woven case on my iPhone 15 and I've been using it for the last two weeks and I'm really, really unimpressed by the way it has aged and honestly, I don't think anybody should buy not only the fine woven cases, but any fine woven accessories. And I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the way it has aged in the last two weeks. So right off the bat, we've got really, really noticeable blackening and darkening around all of the edges. I think the easiest way to kind of compare it is like, this looks like a shirt collar that you haven't washed in a long time and you know it's just touching your neck so it starts to stain with those sweat stains that's what this looks like it looks really really cheap it just does not scream premium especially doesn't scream sixty dollars premium which is really disheartening given this is was the replacement for those sixty dollar leather cases the other thing that i've noticed which is really unfortunate is that there's already a visible magsafe discoloration going on here yes apple does say using magsafe will leave marks but in my experience it has not been as severe i've got a silicone case here which has been magsafe charged as well you can barely see anything on here this is a one year old uh, iphone 14 case that has been regularly used with magsafe and it's almost barely visible the only case that I have seen it on is my two year old iPhone 13 mini case, where if you look at the right light, you'll catch that the reflection, yeah. And there you can see that faint circle of MagSafe charging. If you guys look at it carefully, you guys will already see that there is a pretty noticeable shift in color when looking at the uh, center of the phone. Now, I think the camera won't do a good job. This is, I think, the best thing I can show you. Um, it's not just the ring. The entire center circle has started to discolor and become a little bit lighter than the rest of the case, which just doesn't look good. If it's like this at two weeks, I shudder to think what it's gonna be like after a month or a year of being used. That just isn't confidence inspiring. The other thing that I'm, I've noticed with two weeks of use is that these edges, the, the material and texture they went with on the sides, not great for grip. So I'll just do a quick test, right? I'm not gonna do anything crazy. And in fact, just to make it fair, let me go ahead and pull the case out of, you know, pull the phone out of the case. And I'm just gonna hold it with a gentle grip uh, on the side and see what happens to the case. It just, it has this tendency to kind of slip through your fingers because the sides are not, uh, they're texturized, yes, but they're texturized in a way that is better for kind of trying to move something along here. It doesn't feel very grippy compared to a leather case that is, is when you hold it with the same grip, it doesn't go anywhere. In fact, even if I'm, you know, moving it around trying to shake it out of my hand, even this minute grip helps it stay in place. Whereas this, if I were to do that, it starts to um, move up and down, which just doesn't inspire a lot of confidence when you are trying to have a good grip on the phone. And you know, not just the look of the case, it's the entire quality and attention to detail that lacks. I didn't notice this when I first started to uh, review this case or use it, but I did notice it along the way. Uh, again, not sure if the camera will do a good job picking up it. If it's not, I'll try to get a close-up macro photo of it. You can actually see the seam of where the material of this edge meets in the center. And I, I never expected that. I really don't know if the camera will do a good job of picking it up. It's right here in the middle of the charger port, right at the top and bottom. This is where the material meets, one end meets the other. And you would have never seen that in any leather case Apple has ever made. There are no seams, uh, nothing in the entire case. It is all one piece and there's no stitch marks, no lines where uh, material has crossed over. It looks really, really well done and well finished. This is kind of why when looking at the extreme price of $60, sometimes I was able to justify it given they had a lot of attention to detail, which this case clearly lacks. And what makes it even you know clearer that there's not a lot more of attention to detail is that the inside no longer has that soft, felt like material that used to be there on not just the iPhone uh, leather cases, but even on the MagSafe cases where they had a soft plush inside, uh, but this not so much. This just has the uh, fine woven material inside as well. And as you guys can see, it's doing a not so good job of getting dirty and discolored already from the inside. Whereas if you look at these cases on the inside, they're even despite being so much older, they aren't even close to as uh, just aged as this one is. It just really is something I didn't expect from Apple. 
And one more important thing that I noticed while I was um, using this case, more so particularly when I was putting the phone in the case and taking it out, is that this case really is extremely rigid on the sides, which you'd be like, hey, that's a good thing. You want it to be rigid. You do want it to be rigid, but not extremely rigid because what happens is if there's no flex, when you are taking the case off and putting it back on, eventually what's gonna happen is over time, this material is gonna get brittle and it's going to snap and crack. I have been using all kinds of cases over the years and one thing I've learned is anything that doesn't have at least a little bit of flex is gonna be a problem and is gonna lead to cracking. And if this case cracks, you're out $60. And given how much I guess this case is depending on the rigidity, if it cracks, this case is no longer gonna hug the phone as tightly as it would have before, which just makes it a little bit less safe in the case. Um, just an example, you know, here's kind of the flex you get in the silicone case. So this isn't crazy, but what it is, is it's enough for the phone to comfortably uh, slip into the case without causing um, too much damage to the case itself. Same thing with leather, not as much as silicone, but enough that, you know, it's rigid when the phone is inside, but also enough for the case to be pulled out. So this is just really, really upsetting to see. And I'm just looking at this case, right? This is a two year old uh, leather case. Look at how this looks versus how this looks. Um, this is aged more uniformly. This just looks a lot more premium. And these are both the same price, $60 for each. And it is crazy how big of a drop this case material is in, in terms of just feel the overall look and the way it is durable. It's just don't buy fine woven products because this isn't gonna be uh, just limited to the case. The way this is aging is gonna be the same way, especially on watch bands. And uh, this is a leather link band, which is no longer there. Uh, you can only buy the fine woven link bands now. And I am really curious to know how those are gonna age because this is a leather one, right? And while it's not perfect, it has aged really well for being used three years, almost, um, you know, consistently through water, all kinds of situations. So uh, this is held up. I don't have any expectations for the fine woven ones to hold up. And at $60, this has just been a massive letdown. So if you guys wanna buy a case for uh, your iPhone 15s, don't buy the fine woven one. I'll have a couple others linked down in the description below. You can check those out. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one.